Hey everyone, I think uh, I think I'm live and ready to go. <laughs> Can't tell with this uh, live stream, uh, but um, so today will be kind of my uh, second kind of online live stream of uh, doing virtual reality stuff. And today I thought I will go for a spin around the uh, Daytona International Speedway, uh, which is uh, I'm not a I mean, I, uh, I'm not knowledgeable about NASCAR, and I don't know a lot of the intricate details, and I don't follow it, but I'm a big fan of the stock car race. I do like the Daytona International Speed. I'm a huge fan of the arcade game Daytona USA uh, that was made created by Sega, originally released in the arcades in 94, I think, or 93 even. Anyway, um, been a huge fan of it as a kid, and been uh, uh, trying it out um uh, lately in different forms and they have they have it uh, available but anyhow uh, i thought uh maybe go for a spin around that racetrack in uh virtual reality so um that racetrack has been created in countless games um over the years um the uh, the ones that are pretty good to play with the virtual virtual reality from uh, just the brief little time that i've had this thing and done some research are i think project cars 2 on pc as well as a sato corsa uh, and I got both. I've been uh, playing a Sato Corsa a little bit before I actually got VR. Uh, pretty, uh, it's a pretty cool game. A pretty nice simulator. Um, when I had this wheel here and stuff, that's pretty. Uh, whoops. Uh oh. Here we go. I'm starting to mess stuff up already here. I forgot to close my little drawer here. Well, that doesn't even matter. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, a Sato Corsa, a really cool game. Um, and both of those games, Project Cars 2 and Aceto Corsa, have the Daytona International uh, Speedway in it. Uh, so I'll, uh, for this one here, I thought uh, I'll just start off with Project Cars 2. Kind of, uh, I'm new to that title as well, so I'm, you know, I just loaded that game recently and I haven't really played it much at all. So I'm just going to be walking myself through, uh, uh, trying to f fiddle with it and trying to get a good uh, uh, kind of uh, quasi simulation arcade experience at the Daytona International Speedway in VR. So um, stick with me and I'll attempt to walk uh, and stumble through that uh, and uh, take you along. I just wanted to note here, I have hanging on my wall a piece of artwork. Uh, hopefully that can be seen. Yeah, that's right there in the corner. Um, you can't see exactly what it is, but there is a picture here. And it is a picture of Cole Trickle, which uh, is a character played by Tom Cruise in the uh, classic movie Days of Thunder. Uh, big fan of that movie. Um, big fan of why I'm just like kind of a, a fan of NASCAR racing, uh, stock car racing essentially, that because uh, watching that movie as a kid uh, really, uh, really got me excited about it. And then uh, this, uh, I had a conversation with a good friend of mine, Alex, uh, recently, and um, he uh, collects these uh, um, classic uh, uh, prints, uh, theatrical prints, um, and uh, he surprised me with, uh, uh, with this one here, so I thought it'd be a great place to hang it uh, right by the uh, uh, driving console. So anyhow, enough with that stuff. Let me um, let me just jump right into VR here and uh, get us going with Project Cars 2. So just like last time, I'll be uh, doing wireless uh, PC VR streaming uh, through virtual desktop. And um, you know, today is what, July, uh, what day is it today? July 13th, it's July 13th today. And just in the last week, there's been so many updates for this Oculus platform, whether it's been from Oculus um, for their software or the virtual desktop developer who's updated his um, software, but there's been so many improvements. Just every week there seems to be new functionality, new improvements um, there. So the um, uh, what was uh, recently released from the virtual desktop developer is increased um, streaming uh, fidelity for those with AMD graphics cards and I do have an AMD Radeon uh, graphics card and it has um, significantly improved the experience just in the last week of uh, what I've been kind of uh, playing with here so that's been great okay so I'm on virtual desktop I can uh, see it here let me um, bring up my uh, uh, games now in virtual desktop I have this overlay that I have now and it populates my games in it 
and I just load project, it detects what I have in my Steam library. Um, so Project Cars 2 is uh, enabled in VR through Steam VR, um, but this virtual desktop uh, software for the uh, Oculus uh, Quest um, just has this overlay and it automatically enables Steam VR to uh, uh, start working and streaming the uh, uh, VR stream directly to um, the Oculus Quest here. And it will also have the um, 2D version, which is, I think, the left eye of what I see uh, displayed on my monitor for all you guys to kind of follow along. Okay, so I, the games are populated. I'm going to select Project Cars 2. And uh, hopefully it should start uh, getting going here. So yeah, I was talking about updates. So virtual desktops and proof fidelity here, even from what I've experienced last week, it's much nicer. It feels like it's like rock solid native, a native app on the Oculus Quest, but it's actually VR streaming from my PC here. I am using, of course, five gigahertz and my wireless router is right below my desk there and it's wired into my PC right close by. So I do have kind of pro close proximity to everything and being seated uh, in this application where I'm gonna be using the seated wheel um, makes it even uh, that much uh, better for um, for the experience since you know uh, the antennas and the range for the wireless signal um, doesn't fluctuate too much. All right, so I got the game running here. It's not in VR yet for me either. And I do have uh, my controllers ready to go. And I am going to, uh, whenever I can, um, use the wheel, of course. And I think I have it pre-configured. I don't want to be setting that up live. Now it looks like my uh, controllers aren't responsive to this. Skip the intro here, so let me set these bad boys down. Let me get this going. Okay. All right, welcome back. The new fun pack expansion for purchase. Not today. All right. So I'm going to set up custom race. And I already have the Daytona International Speedway trial set up here. All right, I was using so I tried this the other day. We did do a rolling start to simulate the uh, Daytona arcade game that I was talking about. Um, you know what, we'll keep it with that. I do want to use some stock cars though. Now, group by manufacturer, can we group by classes? Yeah. Uh, what kind of classes do we got? Choose from IndyCar. Hopefully NASCAR stock car would be nice. Uh, LMN. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Let's just go very quickly with the down arrows and see what kind of matches what we're looking for. We're looking for stock cars that are visually similar to what we see on uh, NASCAR, especially TV races and what's in that video game, The Hornet. I don't know if there's probably a mod for Project Cars 2 that I have to load up where they have. Uh, the Hornet Classic uh, model that's used in the uh, Sega uh, arcade games. And I'm going to, you know what, I'm probably going to load that up uh, in due course here. But let me just continue with, with what we have for now. Oh, can I go up somewhere? Come on. So I got this. Okay, what's going on? All right, down, down, down. I have this in game cursor, I think, that follows my head. and it, kind of interfered with what I'm doing navigating with my keyboard and mouse here. That's all right. Oh, there it goes again. Here we go. What's going on? Hmm. And oh, I'm going to just minimize to see what sound output is going out on the stream here because I do want to make sure that we have audio going out to you guys now. So it seems like the only audio going out is actually through my Oculus headset right now. Okay. So I'm going to, on the fly, I'm going to try to change that a little bit because I do want, obviously, the audio to be going uh, with the stream. All right, so let's see how we work ourselves through that. I love those. Oh, 
Okay, so first I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna quit this application for now. Oh yeah, I shouldn't be going back into VR for that. All right, and my mouse is locked into the thing there. Okay, so I'm gonna close this. Exit, yeah, sorry, I'm gonna exit for now. And if this isn't live, feel free to strip, uh, skip ahead. But while you're here with me, I'm not gonna stop any streams and stuff. I'm just gonna keep her going while I adjust my audio settings. Whoops, don't wanna do that. I wanna minimize that. Um, so it's virtual desktop settings, which is where I'm going to want to go here. Settings. Use virtual, enable this option if you experience issues streaming audio. Stream audio, so I don't think I'm gonna hit stream audio. I'm gonna leave stream audio and then hopefully it plays out of my, ah, you know what? I'm, gonna I'm not gonna mute my computer speakers. Really easy and basic and obvious option that I probably should have checked before I started, but that's great. So I'm gonna disable that. I'm gonna disable or disconnect from virtual desktop here just to make sure it rehooks re it. Confirm. Go back here. I'm going to quit virtual desktop. Great. And then I'm going to minimize this because last time I was streaming, I had these overlays covering my actual stream for half the streams. A little embarrassing just about as embarrassing as this audio thing too. That's okay. Okay, um, so um, let's go back into VR, relaunch the game, and hopefully the game stream will be going along with the, pardon me, the game audio will be going on with the stream. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Before, uh, you guys can't see this right now, and I will do an episode where I'm streaming right from the headset, but it's it actually detects my fingers right now. Like it's, uh, it, I was talking about these recent updates. In the last... A um, little while, Oculus released this update where it tracks your hands in the interface, which is great. I think it's been around for a couple, few months now. But then Virtual Desktop released a, a broadly distributed up, uh, like their public update now. That, uh, their latest version has support for this. So you can actually be in Virtual Desktop typing in your virtual keyboard and using your computer. I tried it in some PC VR titles and it does, um, does actually work. Um, but it doesn't work perfect. It's a little finicky because your hand motions are replicating um, kind of the con the triggers of a joystick. So like, you know, pinch your fingers to, to do this or, or that instead of, um, you know, in some PC VR games, you kind of have your hand. It'd be nice if there was like pass through of the emulation of your fingers. And you know what? That it sounds like a dream. And I thought it would be a dream before I got into this. But now with everything kind of there, it's like, it seems like there are a couple updates away from even doing that. Like uh, I play PC VR poker, poker stars and be nice and poker stars on just the quest platform itself. <laughs> It'd be amazing if I could play without the controller and just with my hand. Um, that'd be really cool for a stationary game. I'm doing some uh, virtual reality uh, simulators as you all saw, saw with VTOL and that kind of works with hand tracking. Uh, but I'm, um, I digress and I need to um, go back into Project Cars 2 because we are replicating our Daytona International Speedway experience for this stream. So much stuff to, uh, to talk about. It's just things change every day and there's just so much experiences to, <laughs> oh yeah, so I got the, uh, it's tracking my uh, hands with the controllers now. It's pretty cool. But that's not what we're going to be going, uh, using today. Of course, we're going to be using the, uh, the steering wheel and pedals that we got set up. So, it's launching the game again, and hopefully we'll be able to confirm audio. That's what derailed us in the first place. Okay.
Okay, so that should that should do it. Okay, I'm happy. through all the types of vehicles because our goal was trying to find some stock cars and you know what surprisingly there wasn't that many uh, by classes and so from my kind of limited knowledge there didn't seem to be anything that resembled traditional stock cars um, except for there was one that was kind of close Green cars. It's a rally. Some uh, poorly textured stock car beside me. And, um, let's hopefully my wheels all set up because that's going to be that's going to be another a little bit of time. To do that, but I think it should be good. Let me go s let's check the options. You know what? Ah, back. Let's just start. So I got I got all these people here. I'm Lexicon. Okay, I'm starting 12. Alright, different stock car liveries or textures, that's great. Again, I'm not a super stock, I don't follow stock car too close, so I don't know if these are fake names or real guys. That's cool. Um, uh, they're obviously all computer generated characters though. Alright, so let's, let's get this going.
zombie start. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to go to options, controls. Yeah, I got the old G25. I got this bad boy a long time ago, like 10 years ago or something. Got it from Dell.ca. They had it on sale and it served me for you know, 10, 11 years. Yeah, I had it in the closet for a couple of years, um, but it's, uh, it's a great wheel. Um, and I continue to use it to this day. Okay. Never really had a problem with it. It does sometimes kind of realign itself improperly and you have to kind of actually reboot your computer. Um, but once it's aligned, it stays aligned, doesn't drift, it's great. Uh, anyway, I digress again. I was gonna make sure to see. Okay. It doesn't show me the mapping now. Brakes, clutch, edit assignments, okay. These are VR, camera and view, vehicle. Okay. These are amazing options, actually. These are amazing detailed options. Game. Game chat box. Motion. Okay, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. First gear, fourth, uh, why is this skipping on that? I mean, I have fifth and sixth gear mapped. I just don't, I don't have seventh. And gear up is, yeah, it is button four. So perhaps Project Cars didn't allow me to gear up, gear down, because of course it's a manual transmission stock car and it has direct gears only. So the fourth gear, I'm gonna have to go back to the check out that car detail, but perhaps that's all they have, just four gears. It's good to know. Okay, so while I'm in here, I'm gonna go cycle camera. Yeah, because I, I wanna be able to check my view. And I'm gonna just make this button my camera button. All right, that's my camera button. Okay, now everything else I can, I'm good with for now. Those feedback. Other things. Anyhow, I'm not gonna get distracted anymore here again. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna reset that race. Um, yeah, let's restart the session. Yeah. And tuning setup. So. How do I find out how many gears this car has? Left, center, braking, right. Those are my tires. Gearing. Wow, well, look at that. Final drive, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear. What does final drive mean? The final drive ratio adjusts the differential gear ratio. Now the car to be dialed either toward acceleration or top speed. This ratio has an effect on all other gears. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that as the default. Um, all right, well, I guess I just wasn't too good. Huh. Maybe I didn't press my gas all the way. You know, I'm gonna just very quickly make sure that there's no crazy dead zone issue that it's set up, so I'm gonna was there a race beginner? Ideal for drivers who are inexperienced in tuning car setup. Well, that's me. If I'm not stopping, what is the issue with the braking on the car? Um, I'm fine with that. How do I go? I'm not going fast enough. I'm slow accelerating. I can't hit my top speed. I am slow. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I ask you something. I hit an achievement by using this. Well, there you go. We're not wasting any time here. We're doing our adjustments and we're getting achievements. 
I don't really care for or collect achievements, notably, but hey, that's nice. Um, all right. Save over existing setup slot. Loose speedway, loose setup. Yeah, we can save over the existing one. All right. So let's try that again.
check. the view without going into the game. Can I do that? Is it going to let me do that? No. Options. Camera. So this is just the cameras. So I have to actually start the rolling star. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just do that. In the interest of time. this configured in all other games obviously if you're playing with settings the Logitech software and the in-game software but the fact that this seems to do it I haven't played enough with the vehicle types of the game to, to confirm it 1000% but that's what it seems like it's just so fun it's actually way more fun with this view than the first one so I should It's pretty cool, I think. Um, I do have a grade on my window, but I can pull it. Mind me, guys. We caused an accident. I don't know, I feel bad. It's surreal. Oh, I'm going to just that. Don't tell anyone, I'm going to go back. job game okay so let's go skip to the end all right okay so we did and we're going to restart the session and hopefully we're going to restart it now with the proper cockpit view perfect yeah this is great got the next racer side me there I mean, this is awesome. This is really where I think VR shines, where you're in the actual, pers from the perspective of the real life operator of whatever machine or tool you're using. So in this case, I'm using this stock car um, and I'm using real life kind of peripherals to mimic that behavior. And even like in a virtual flight simulator, when you got the 
uh, Oculus controllers, which are amazing. They detect all your arm movement. You're flicking the switches, piloting the joysticks. Really cool. VR is totally awesome uh, in that respect. Even though, I mean, in game right now, and I will be honest, as much as VR is cool, there is kind of a drawback for me personally, at least, is that while you're in the game, it doesn't look like perfectly clear. Like if you're used to playing on modern computer monitors, you know, playing in 1080p, playing in 4K, you know, you're used to seeing very sharp images on your screen. Now, with the way VR works, even though on your screen there, you appear to be seeing like a, a well, I don't know, with a YouTube streaming or whatever, but on my screen, I have a natively, you know, uh, a native 1080p picture on my monitor. Sure, it's not 4K, but it's 1080p. And if I look on my monitor, um, it's, it's sharp. I mean, it's like a, a regular, uh, video game there. It's sharp. Yeah. The, re what that one resolution is, um, pretty poor and there are, uh, the resolutions are, uh, kind of scaled back and I can fiddle with that and make it better, but it's, I'm just, it's nice. I mean, overall I can live with it right now and the, the frame rate and smoothness is pretty good. So I'm going to leave that just adjust this a little bit. Um, but I, what I was saying, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's good. Peripherals. All right, let's go. Whatever I was saying, I was talking too much, right? So I'm going to go start right from this perspective. This is great. Let's get this going. Let's see what I can do. Only five laps. And I'm starting in 12th. I don't even know how realistic it is to go in first. But who knows? Okay, so I'm going to start. Ready to go.
I like everything. Everything was good. It's got all these fancy, advanced pieces of information for those that are a little more advanced than I am at this stage, but here we go.
start rolling in second gear this time so seventh is my best so far I got eighth in that time when I took out everyone at the start <laughs> don't want to use that strategy too often okay second settings here. start to avoid that little snafu. That's oh, okay. Restart. Yes. Sorry, no way. Restart.
the uh, the alerts when you get penalized could be done a little nicer because they kind of pop up and you s you're seeing double in your VR world. The, uh, it doesn't have the kickback, so I'm not really certain. and second. other games and probably in this game too and it's just a setting that I'm sure that I haven't adjusted um, you can um, you can actually feel the middle point of the car of the wheel
so competitive sometimes, but you know what? We're gonna do one more, and this is the final. If we crash out the start, we'll crash out the start. We have a good race, we have a good race, we have a good race. Off here. Let's get some bits 
design. There's no appearance on the screen. Um, all right, very good. I think I'm going to go and uh, end the stream here. All right, so thank you. Thanks again for tuning in one more time. Um, I am going to uh, uh, get a drink of water, <laughs> first of all, and um, and then that's about it. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, look at that. Jack Bills. Shout out. Niners. Whoa, this is cool. Insert member star. Yeah, cool. We got some chat action. It's, my, uh, it's pretty cool. All right. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and I will um, stream next time. And how do we end the stream here? And of course, my mouse is locked in. Uh, it's locked in. I got it. I'll tab out of there. All right. Now I'm going to end the stream. Okay. Thanks for watching.